hello everyone welcome in this video let us solve this question so we have root t over t is equal to root 3 and here but to solve for the value of t that will satisfy this given equation so t is the unknown we are to solve for now to solve for t solution solution the equation is root t over t is equal to root 3 now there are two ways by which you can solve this equation so we we'll attempt to solve it using two methods okay so the first method is that okay root 3 can be written as over 1 so that we can then cross multiply and 1 will multiply root t that will become root t is equal to t will multiply root 3 you have t root 3 with this to eliminate the square roots we are then going to square the both sides of the equation. So we're going to have in bracket root t all squared is equal to in bracket t root 3 all squared. Such that square cancel square root, we have t is equal to, okay. Now looking at this right here, if you have in bracket a, b all squared, this is equal to the square, we open the bracket, this becomes a squared, b squared. So applying the same rule, in this place this becomes t squared then times root 3 all squared so in brackets root 3 all squared such that t is then equal to t squared t squared and times square will cancel square root what you have left is 3 so 3 now t is then equal to t squared times 3 is 3t 3 squared with this we can then move this t to this other side of the equation now if we move plus t to the to cross the equality sign it change to minus t and here becomes zero so this becomes zero is equal to 3t squared minus t okay so if we are to rearrange this this becomes 3t squared minus t is equal to zero now to solve for the value of t what you are going to do is that okay looking at this equation t is a common factor so factorize out t so bringing out t we are left with 3t then minus 1 is equal to 0 such that at this junction t is equal to 0 or from here 3t minus 1 is equal to 0 now we've gotten the first value of t which is equal to 0 even though we are still going to check if this value of t that we got as 0 is the correct value of t okay but before then let's continue to solve for the other value of t from this second equation so we have 3t minus 1 is equal to 0 to solve for t what we'll do is that we we'll move minus 1 to the other side of the equation if minus 1 crosses over the equality sign become plus 1 so 0 plus 1 is 1 so 3t is equal to 1 then to then solve for t divide both sides by 3 over 3 so that 3 divide 3 you have it as t is equal to 1 over 3. Now, we've gotten the value of t as 0 and t as 1 over 3 using the first method. Don't forget. For the second method, right, the equation is root t over t is equal to root 3. Okay, with this, we are then going to bring in an identity that if you have root a is equal to a raised to power 1 over 2. So, Applying this here right here, this becomes t raised to power 1 over 2, then over t, which equals root 3. Now, the power of t right here is 1, even though 1 is not written, but power of t is 1. To then solve this further, we're going to bring in this rule that if you have a raised to power n over a raised to power m, this equals a raised to power n minus m. So, applying this principle right here, what we're going to have is that we're going to have t raised to power 1 over 2 then because we have the same base you pick one of it which is t then you subtract the power so half minus 1 is equal to root 3 at this junction let's first solve for the power we have 1 over 2 minus 1 now 1 can be written as over 1 so that we have um, two fraction then look for the lcm now the lcm of 2 and 1 is 2 so over 2 now 2 we divide 2 you have 1 1 times 1 is 1 then minus 2 we divide 1 
you have 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 1 minus 2 is minus 1, then over 2, such that the value of half minus 1 is minus half. So, 2 raised to power minus half is equal to root 3. Okay, to then solve this further, we are then going to remove the square root from here. And to remove the square root, we're going to square the both sides of the equation. So, in bracket, 2 raised to power minus half all squared is equal to in brackets root 3 all squared okay such that square cancel square root 3 stands alone and then minus half multiplies to 2 we divide 2 what you have is, what you have left is minus 1 so 3 raised to the power minus 1 is equal to what you have left here is 3 okay so with this done right if you have a raised to the power minus 1 this is equal to 1 over a okay so applying this right here this becomes 1 over t which equals 3 and 3 can be written as over 1 so we can then cross multiply such that we have it as 1 times 1 is 1 equals t times 3 is 3t three to so then solve for t divide both sides by 3 over 3 3 divide 3 what you have is t is equal to 1 over 3 with this we've gotten the value of t okay now to then confirm the values of t that we've gotten okay whether it is correct or not okay so the first value let's check the first value of t that we got was t is equal to zero and the second value is one over three so let's confirm the equation is root t over t is equal to root three now for the first value of t for t is equal to zero Okay, in the place of t, we'll bring in 0. So, root 0 over t is 0 equals root 3. Root 0 is 0 over 0, which equals root 3. So, we just give us root 3. Now, 0 over 0 is undefined, right? It's undefined. And it is not equal to root 3. So, that means that the value of t that we got as 0 is not the correct answer for the value of t. Okay, let's then try out the second value of t, which is 1 over 3. So, for t equals to 1 over 3, right, t equals to 1 over 3, the equation is root t over t is equal to root 3. So, in the place of t, we'll bring in 1 over 3. So, root 1 over 3, then divided by t is 1 over 3 is equal to root 3. With this, we have a rule that if you have root a over b, this is equal to root a over root b. So applying this principle right here, this becomes, okay, we have it as root 1 over root 3, then divided by, okay, 1 over 3, with this equal root 3. So question mark. Solving this further, root 1 is 1 over root 3 and then if divide chain to times right 3 goes up 1 comes down so 3 over 1 with this okay equal root 3 1 times 3 is 3 over root 3 with this equal root 3 question mark okay to then solve this further right we are going to rationalize the denominator that means that root 3 will multiply both the numerator and the denominator so we're going to have 3 times root 3 over root 3 times root 3 with this equal root 3 question mark okay so 3 times root 3 is 3 root 3 over root 3 times root 3 is 3 which equals root 3 with this equal root 3 now obviously 3 will divide 3 what you have is root 3 is equal to root 3 and this is the correct answer so that means that the value of t which equals 1 over 3 is the correct answer that will satisfy the given equation and with this ladies and gentlemen we have come to an end of this video okay please consider to like the video share the video to your friend and don't forget to subscribe subscribe right now thank you very much see you in the next video bye